<laughs> well, it's still cold, we're still working, and we're still making progress day by day. I've finished pulling up the entryway flooring, and now I really can begin to see what it's going to look like with new wood floors. Well, I forgot to do my yoga before we came here today, so I better do some for my back. I guess I'll do it here, right in the house, in front of the propane heater. Hey, this is hot yoga. Filling you with positive, radiant light to continue the rest of your day. Reminding you that no matter how your day may unfold today, this beautiful, peaceful energy is here with you at all times. Through the course of the week, I realized I was going to have to take this whole closet apart. There just was no insulation on the exterior wall, and there was water damage down the corner. And, come to find out, it was built after the wood floors and the trim were put in. It does have some of the original trim, so we figured that probably happened when the house was built. Is it just me, or does anyone else find that their husbands will tell you they'll do the laundry, but then there'll be a part of it that just won't quite get finished? With Jim, it happens to be folding the towels and putting them away. I don't know what it is about the towels. He'll fold everything else in the laundry that he's doing and put that away. Just something about it. I don't know what I did in the past. Maybe I told him he folded them wrong. I have no idea but I just can't figure this out. Normally I would just fold them myself and put them away because you know, I can't stand it. But this time I thought I'd try something else. So I just folded them and left them sitting there. Let's see if he actually puts them away. Well, they're still here. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if he's waiting for me to put them away, or maybe he thinks I want them here. I don't know. This is hilarious. There is a life I lead in this city. Whoever built this closet is not the same carpenter that put in the support posts. This thing is bomb solid, and it is just wearing me out. The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the greater I returned from the in hindsight, I probably should have gone home before doing this work. I'm trying to remove the well-installed supports for the hanging rods. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with the place to me In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning bone Take me back.
back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. <laughs> we picked up a sample of manufactured wood a couple of weeks ago and we've been mulling over the decision about reveal size. We made up two templates to see what trying to get a three inch reveal out of this siding would entail. The manufacturer does recommend a four inch reveal so we also been learning a lot about cedar siding prices here, installation and maintenance. Yeah this is the four inch reveal. Yeah. This is the, the manufacturer's spec, the four inch. Right. Yeah. Well, if you look at the, at the profile, how the pieces fit together, mm -hmm. it's actually a little tighter when it goes to the three inch. That's. So you're that saying this saying. part's tighter when they well, meet? That's, yeah, that's tighter when it's done with three inch reveal than the four inch and if you look at the four inch at the gaps here that's that's what it would be factory right a slight gap which <laughs> it's a little bit of one and a little bit of another that little gap means that the raindrops that accumulate down here will have a little space and they'll separate here they could wick back up behind it because oh. it's tight but the insects yeah. can't get in there little bugs could get in there. Hmm. So overall, this little gap is a benefit for the material. It's longevity. This is primed. It doesn't appear that they've primed the backside. Right. Which is something we learned you need to do with cedar. With cedar. Yeah. And any, any other wood. Uh, you need to ask the manufacturer why they don't do it here. Yeah. So we heard back from the distributor, uh, let me read this to you. Um, three inch exposure is not recommended from LP, which is the company that we're thinking of buying the uh, manufactured wood siding from, and it may void the warranty on the product. We also have learned that they do not recommend you prime or paint the back of the siding as their specific blend of herbs and spices, no, <laughs> their specific, their specific blend of resins and waxes and zinc borate, which is a broad spectrum fungicide, those three things together are good for repelling water, preventing insects infestation, and uh, decay. There definitely seem to be as many opinions as there are products out there. So we've narrowed it down to two choices. So we're going to talk about those two choices today, and you're going to figure out which side are you on. Get it? Side? Siding? <laughs> Cedar siding has the pros of we could match the original 3 inch reveal and it is wood which is technically a, a renewable resource. The cons are there's more lifetime maintenance with real wood product and our house is very tall requiring lifts and scaffolding. It is renewable but it is definitely not the best renewable option. Cutting down more trees does not seem to be helpful for our current environmental problems and it can be very expensive. Manufactured wood has some pros, it has less maintenance and a longer life. The wood is a renewable resource, just like cedar, but it's actually a little bit better for the environment as we can recycle other wood products as companies use a portion of recycled wood in their wood fibers. The cons are we would not be able to achieve a three inch or a three and a half inch reveal. The four inch reveal will not be the same as the original, so the house will not look exactly as it did. It's a tough decision. So it's a lot to consider when renovating an old house. 
What's the balance? How much do you restore? How much do you plan for the future for coming generations and what impact your choices have? You must know by now that Jim and I are definitely on the tree hugger side of any decision we make, so you can probably figure out which one we're leaning towards. Oh my god, you guys. Put the clean laundry on top of the folding towels. What the heck, man? So I've been taking on the drywall in this closet that's right under the stairs. There's the stairs and the front door. And we took, this is an exterior wall actually. And there was no insulation in there. So it's a good thing we took it down because of the water damage, but this closet was apparently built after they put up the floors and the trim. As this trim goes all the way through behind this wall. And the wood floors go underneath this side. So it was an afterthought. So now I have to cut off this trim here so I can finish getting the, the glass and plaster that's back there behind that off. Not very professional camera work here, but believe me, Amazing things are happening back there. What you doing? Folding the, folding the towels and napkins. You know, it's seven, seven to 10 days getting it done. Seven to 10 days? Yeah. What, what do you mean by that? Um, doing the laundry, there was somebody's observation. Doing the laundry, drying the laundry one or two days, folding the laundry and put it away, seven to 10 working days. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? One of, the, one of the Instagram things that you showed me last week. Oh. You're doing a mighty fine job there. I didn't know you could fold so well. I'm glad that you approve. <laughs> My approval rating today is pretty low. <laughs> is it? No, it's not. It's still high. No, that's good. <laughs> wow, I'm just impressed. I didn't know you knew how to fold. Have you been holding out on me all this time? Why do you think that stuff's gotten folded and put away? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't know why he won't put the towels away. I don't care.
cut it. Well, now he's added a washcloth to the pile, but at least he folded it. Another load of laundry on top of the towels. This is day eight. Okay, I'm trying something. I moved him closer to the cupboard. So you do know where the towels go? Sometimes. <laughs> I thought maybe you didn't know. Seven to ten business days to get the clothes put away. It's been nine. Nine? <laughs> <laughs> Filling you with positive, radiant light to continue the rest of your day.